This is my classic French onion soup. Oh, oh yes. of course, oui. chef. Katie, yes. sous chef. Um, you're gonna get one of the most important components of this dish is the baguette. Boom. Tell me, is that baguette fresh? It is, and it's hot? warm. It is warm. Still. Feel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. You can Maybe use stale yeah. baguette. We'll stale see. baguette. That's fine. But I love On a bias? Stale, fresh bread, because it's a is it yeah, kind of subtle bias. <laughs> and we're gonna subtle bias. It with a tremendous amount of oil for that. A little thinner than that, if oh. you don't mind. And then uh, both ends, and we're gonna stick it in the oven for, nice. you know. A little bit till it's nice and golden and toasty, okay? That's easy breezy. We're going with that. Now let's go with the onions here. Nice white onion, mm -hmm. okay? Nothing too sweet, just a nice utility onion, holds its shape, caramelizes well, and that's what this recipe is all about. Slow, low caramelization of these beautiful, naturally sweet onions. All right, so what we did was peel it, have it this way, right? So you get this kind of French cut, some might say, of an onion. This kind of holds its shape. We've talked about it. Not too thin, not too thick. And we're gonna cut it kind of pole to pole after cutting, cutting it through the equator. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna longitude it. Yeah, longitude, after latitude. After you latituded it. And then we're gonna top down cuts from the tip to the stem, okay? The root to the stem. Now we have this big bowl of onions. We have a large enameled cast iron Dutch oven here ready to go, the biggest, the most robust pan you, you have, this is when you use it. Four tablespoons of butter. Okay. Melting it nice. Got my wooden spoon here. And we are going to add these onions. Okay, about a pound of onions in there. And this will cook down tremendously. To this, we're gonna add some salt, a little kosher salt, not too much, just to kind of lightly help start weeping it all out. But again, salt is the enemy of caramelization because it draws out all that moisture. And we want to really focus on developing the sugars in these onions and to help kind of expedite that process. Give it a little extra, just a little couple pinches of sugar mm. with the onions. Mm. All right. All right, next, we let this go for about 45 minutes. Could take longer, could take less. When you are caramelizing your onions, you do not want to disturb it too much. But if you open the pot and you see a lot of the you know, tasty bits, the fawn sticking to the bottom of the pan. Keep a little water, give it a little splash of water and with your wooden spoon so we can get some. And people neglect that kind of what I like to call side fond or wall fond that creeps up the side of the pot. That's all flavor too. Don't neglect that. That's what we're looking for. Like oh, that's yeah. the color. Don't let, don't, 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 you gotta let it go. People you, are, yeah. they, they get, they get, they get, they get antsy. Would you put that broth in there? It's oh, over. Yeah. There's zero more caramelization. Yeah. Once you start like deglazing too much through the process, it really does kind of slow down the process as well. And we want to embody the spirit of this soup, which is flavor and technique and a little bit of sherry. Mm -hmm. Do it. Help deglaze it towards the end, right? And you scrape up all that stuff on the bottom. Turn up this a little bit. Now we can start adding. We got some warm stock here and for some herbs, we got a bay leaf. In a bundle or a sachet Excuse of me? fresh thyme. It's a bouquet garni. You know, a bouquet garni. Voilà, <laughs> c'est ça. A sachet is in cheesecloth usually. So correct yeah, you are correct that we get a little bit, but it's easier to pick out. It's not just for looking pretty. It's for function too. Just like you, Jeff. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's like that guy's pretty. Nobody said Katie that with about the me. Jokes. Even with the neckerchief. <laughs> So again, we want to kind of cook out that alcohol, let this intensify, let all those Smell onions it. soak up that sherry. Next, some warm beef stock. Look at that. Mm. Boom. Same thing. Right? I should have poured it from the side. Like, yeah, like I was getting some ice water at the saloon. Ah! So we're going to let this come up to a simmer. Look how simple this is, right? Simple. It's all time and technique and cutting the onions right and just putting enough of everything, not too much of everything in there. And what we're left with after about another 30, 40 minutes is the base of a great French onion oh, soup. What we want to do is fish mm -hmm. out. Le bouquet garni. Yeah, into mm -hmm. the lebo. All right, this is ready to go. Katie, I will bring the horse to the water, if you will. Okay. Our, and our toasts are a little Toasted. done, a little crostini there. Mm -hmm. I like to give a little kind of centripetal stir here okay. so I can scoop up and get an even ratio of broth to onion. Oh, that's that's a good one. You know what I mean? Instead of just yeah, like dipping from I'll the bottom. Yeah, sometimes get the glop of onion and then go in there for some little liquid. That's very smart, Jeff. We'll get a little swirl. 
little swirly. And I like to go fairly to the top, because again, the cheese. I think the onions are the true star of this, but man, you want, we want to structurally build this, so you might need a little more in there. These are big old crocs, but you need the handle on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can use a ramekin at home. You can use like an oven safe bowl. Or I'm sure you can find these online. For it's kind of like a very... Moscow mule. You need the vessel. You need the vessel, yeah, right? Yeah, just to feel like you're doing that, it. Like yeah. you find on sale, and when you find it, buy, buy it. it. Yep. Even if you're not planning on making the French onion soup right away, just buy it. There's also a certain... Uh, I also put, like, cheese sauces in there. Like, yeah. I do nacho sauce, like, individual nacho sauce. You oh, that's can a reuse good idea. those French onions. I, I think there's a look to French onion soup that's almost as important as the actual soup. Yeah. It's got to look like... You'll do, he's going to do it. I know what he's going to do. Oh, you right? know. I mean, you got to complete it. You can't, yeah, like, half... Mess on the half, edge? Yeah. yeah, you can't do it half-baked. Mm -mm. Hey, now, we're going to full bake Oh, yeah, there we go. Throw Look at this. a couple croutons. Right, really important top. right here. Do it, do it. Right? Mm. Without submerging like that. That guy went for a dip. I'm going to change him out. <laughs> I did not. He was. He just ate. You got to wait an hour. Hey, I don't Boom. blame him. He wanted to get in there in that soup. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff. I got to do two sheets. Oh, you, you got to have gotta it. Gotta it's a layer cheese. of cheese You need on there. it. Right on there. It's a must. So what kind of cheese? Anybody want to guess? Gruyere. 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 Of course. You could substitute nothing. <laughs> Gruyere is available everywhere, right? The deli sliced or the sheets of it that come pre-shingled, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, totally worth it because it's going to make your life easier mm -hmm. and an even melt, which let's check on these, huh? Where do you put it? What kind of oven? Why? So we are going to put it on a sheet pan. Yeah. As many bowls as you need at a time. Don't just loosey-goosey this to the oven, OK? You want to keep it on a sheet. I'm going to need another rag. Give, give me that, man. I thought I was going to be all swollen showing off for you guys, but this is a two-handed job. You'll see why. Oh, <laughs> me, get, mm. oh. Bon Dieu. Ah, oh, oh. that is it. That's the promise. Yeah. Look at that. I'm just going to. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe, I don't want to, man, there's no more room. I have yeah, all the yeah. pots going. Thank you very much, Katie. But look at this. This is what we wanted. Bon Dieu. Mmm. Mmm, that smell. That's Italian. No, kidding. Um, oh. <laughs> That's amore. That's amore. <laughs> this is the soup that makes you want to smile. Well, yeah, and pull out a fork, too. You know what I mean? Yes, you got to get in there. And... Yeah. Again, oh, guys. Cote d'Iron, red wine, burgundy. Oh, must yeah. have done, right? I like that you are a sommelier. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, how I got Cote d'Iron with this? Mm. Mm. I like to try the broth Simple. first. I mean, yeah, mm. I, I like I, I like exactly what mm. I did. I tried to get the cheese, the bread. The broth, I feel like you know. I'm at Cafe Fleur, um, sitting there in Saint Germain, watching mm. the world go by. Just this classic <clears throat> French onion soup. Très délicieux. Mais oui.